Hi, my name's Anna and I'm the UK tracker for the Adopt and Negotiator project, um, which is 13 young people from 13 different countries who follow their negotiators um, at the UN. Each of us has a different relationship with our negotiators. Me personally with the UK negotiators have quite um, a good relationship with Jan, who is our lead negotiator. Um, I hope that she sees me not as an NGO or not as a not as a, uh, someone from, say, Oxfam or Greenpeace or whatever, but just as a normal person. Um, that's really the relationship we try to build. So a normal person who can bring a little bit of humanity into the process, uh, a young person whose future is what we're deciding here. And so that relationship is quite informal. We have more informal chats, like chats are in the halls, uh, after meetings, and just really talk to her about how I see what's going on, she tells me how she sees what's going on, and just really to open up the communication between um, the decision makers, uh, the negotiators, and civil society. Um, we've been blogging, trying to tell the whole world what's going on here, make the process very two-way, so it's not just what's going on in these rooms, but everybody knows about it, everyone can have a say, they can feed in, we can feed that back to our negotiators, and then we feed back out to them what's going on here. I got into negotiating tracking um, because I'm a member of a huge international youth climate movement and in the UK that means that I work with the UK Youth Climate Coalition, um, young people who really care and really passionate about climate change and fight with everything we have, do something about it, take action. I think as long as, as we're working together as a team, as long as we're working really hard, I mean we still have an opportunity to have an impact on, you know, our kids and grandkids and and their kids' future. I really hope that everyone's still paying attention to what's going on here and still really engaging in the process because Copenhagen's really important for what goes on in my future, in all our futures, and to make sure that the future is clean, it's just, it's this amazing and beautiful future. And to do that, we need not just to take notice, but to also really apply the pressure, because without the pressure, our governments won't act. So we did that on Saturday here in Copenhagen. We did it in London on Saturday. On the 5th of December in London, like 40,000 people, I think, came out and showed our government how much we want this. And by doing that, it means they have no excuse not to take action here in Copenhagen. So the more we pressure them, the more they have to take action, and the more hopefully we will see something on Friday that is coming close to what we need to deal with the situation and to provide us with this future that we want to see.